This is how you can get consistent AI character animation. Yeah, with clean lip sync and expressive natural voice acting across every shot. This is an animation that, believe it or not, took only two days to finish. Right now, it's published on YouTube and is ranking views. You can see that in less than 24 hours, we already have a thousand views. My student, Princess, she's super excited. The best part is you can do the same too. I followed five steps, so keep watching because at the end, I will reveal how much time and how much money in credits from AI took me for each step. You can clearly see that step two and step four were the ones that required more time and more credits. And then at the very end, I will share the total amount of hours and credits that I used. So let's get started. For this animation, I used Nano Banana Pro for character design, backgrounds, and drawing each panel scene. Then I used Eleven Labs for good voice acting and getting the music track. Then I used Hedra for animating with perfect lip sync and Google VEO 3.1 for animated scenes that had a narrator and no lip sync. The only thing that I did manually was putting everything together in a video editing software. So let's start with step one character design. Step one is all about designing characters in a way that allows us to have consistency between all the shots. Now, before animating anything, I took a look at the script and saw all the characters that have speaking lines. So I did a list of all those characters. So to get started, I just went to galaxy.ai and then I clicked on AI image generator and I'm using Nano Banana Pro. Now, this next tip is a little bit advanced and I recommend you test if you're comfortable working with chat AI that I use, for example, chat GPT, you can do this. I went to chat GPT and throw the script there as a PDF. And then I just take, for example, another line like, hey, now the brain. And then boop, it creates a prompt. I just copy and then paste that in here. And then I start creating each one of the characters. And at the end, these were the character design sheets that I had for each one of them using Nano Banana Pro for all of them. And now the question is, how much did it cost? For the character design, I only spent around $4.72 in credits and it took two hours. I actually, probably this could be done faster because I spent time explaining. I did this during a live call. And now we go to step two, which is drawing each panel. For this, I took the script and just organized it in a breakdown, but I basically made every speaking line or every cut, I put it into a new bullet point. That way I can count really quickly and then, oh, I need 30 shots. Each one of them have to be transformed into an image. Let's take, for example, this, I'm gonna copy. And then what I did was pasting this into ChatGPT, but I say brainstorm in short bullet points, ideas of how this could be described. And then I just paste it. I say it uh, 55 characters, but actually later I changed it to 150 characters. And then like brain slowing down, buffering phase, etc. And then I get a couple of ideas. I pick the ones that I like and then create a prompt. And then it creates my prompt. I take that, copy, go to Galaxy AI. Then all I do is take the brain character, click and drag into the image, then copy and paste this into the prompt. And then I just click generate. And then I just keep doing that until I have all the scenes, right? Like when he presses the button and all of the like different expressions for each one. And that's it. In total, this was one of the most expensive. It took $17 in credits, which by the way, take into account that I made a lot of mistakes getting the hang of it. And this took almost six hours, but this is important. Most of that time was just me sitting down doing something. So in my case, I was taking an online course and I had this like, thing done. I type the next thing for like 20 seconds and then I rest for two minutes while this thing is creating the images for me. Watching a movie on Netflix or a, or a series. So you're only work from all of that. I would say maybe I worked 50 minutes in total. So anyhow, let's go to step three is the animatic. But before we do that, let me tell you, if you want to apply all of this and use galaxy.ai, you can click on my affiliate link because if you don't hate philanthropy, and you like to help others, I'm telling you every single dollar will go to this foundation, a foundation that I'm part of. You can see that 
2D Animation 101 is one of the partners because every cent I make from affiliate links, I send it to them. What they do is they rescue kids in India, they give them education, and basically they give them a future. So if you don't hate helping kids, just use the link below for Galaxy. And now let's go to step three. Basically, an animatic is when you put all the audio of that is going to happen for your animation accompanied by all the images. This step is really fast to do and it's so worth it. For this step, we already have all the images of the scenes. Now we just need the voice clips for each one of those. So for that, instead of using Galaxy AI, I use Eleven Labs. Why do I prefer to use it here? Because inside Galaxy, you can see that with the AI voice generator, I can use Eleven V3. But what I don't like is that I can put, for example, woohoo. Now look at what happens in here. Let's generate it. And here it is. Look. Super excited, screaming. Wahoo. Boo. Wahoo. Okay, a couple of problems is reading the direction. Now, if I do that same thing in 11 labs, I can go text to speech and then let's change this to super excited screaming. Do you see this prompt is changing now? Woohoo. Yes. I love this, right? And I'm going to press generate speech. Now listen. Woohoo! Yes! I love this! Oh my god. Do you see the difference? That's why I use text to speech. And with that, I created all the clips line by line. And look at this. I basically have like the audio and then the image audio image audio image the other thing i did was that i went to music and then i had ai create this track now putting everything together it this might look complicated but honestly is very simple all it is is just the image this image and a text to help identify the tongue. And that's it, like I just put everything to, this is not animated, it's just showing the images. Let me play a little bit. Guys, I think I'm shrinking. I need some moisture. No, not again. How dehydrated are you? I feel sticky. Okay, so you get the idea. So how much did it cost to do the animatic? It took me $5 only to get 11 laughs, but honestly, in credits, I think I spent like 30 cents or something like that. And it only took me one hour. Again, a lot was just waiting for the AI to finish the audios and then putting everything together in an editing software. And with that, we now move to step four, animate each scene. This is the one that I had the most fun with because you start seeing each clip coming to life and it's so easy to animate. Now, of course, you don't get exactly what you're looking for, so you can test. But let me show you really quick how easy it is to do this once you have everything. Like if for each panel, I have the audio and I have the image. Now, this is very important. In step two, when you create each panel, that's where you want to look for that consistency. And with Nano Banana, you get perfect consistency. If you want to see the complete process in a little bit more detail to produce each scene, check the video tutorial on the three steps but for now let me show you how you can animate each scene look at how easy this is first I go to galaxy.ai and then I scroll down and I'm gonna select AI talking photo and then in here I'm gonna show you the differences between those so you can select the one that you believe is the best for you this is with vid no not again how dehydrated are you infinity talk no not again how dehydrated are you Cling AI avatar? No, not again. How dehydrated are you? Hey Jen? No, not again. How dehydrated are you? And this is with Hedra. No, not again. How dehydrated are you? I can tell you the one that I thought was the best was Hedra. So that's the one that I'm going to choose. And in here, I'm going to choose upload audio. So I'm going to upload my video and my audio. That way, there's going to be consistency with the lip sync. So let's take the tongue and click and drag. Done. And then I click and drag the image into here. Then click done. And that's it. Okay, that is all I need to do. 
That's crazy. Now I click generate and then it takes a little bit of time. Did you see that notification? That means it's spending seven cents to create this animation. And again, while this is happening, I just go ahead and then I just w start watching or continue watching a course that I'm taking. What I'm trying to get to is it's so comfortable to animate like this. And that's it. Now let me play this. I think I'm shrinking. That is pretty cool. That is crazy. Just a couple of clicks and drags and then do it. And then it does it for you. You just have to wait. So how much did it cost to animate each scene? Well, this one took $22. And it was because I didn't know which one to do. I did a lot of testing. This is probably actually more like $10, but this is what I actually spent. And it took me also 4.3 hours. Now, I'm pretty sure if I do this animation again, this is probably going to take me less time. And also this one will take also less time because of all the testing that I was doing. And before we jump into step five, I know that prompting the right instructions and choosing the right AI tools in the right order can feel overwhelming. One wrong step and you end up wasting a ton of hours and a lot Lot of credit. So to make your workflow easier, I put together the Pro AI Animator Prompt Pack that you can get for free using the link below. It gives you organized copy-paste prompts for every stage of the process. And you can use it to produce your next animation following these five steps. So now let's go to step five, which is putting everything together. For this step, what I did was take every single one of those and put them on a folder called Low Resolution. And then I go to galaxy.ai and I click on all tools and then I click search. And then in there, just type upscale and then the video upscaler. Now, this is a funny thing that I realized. If you take any video like this one and then I make it 4K, I'm going to click on advanced settings and then select 4K, it actually takes the same amount of credits, like doing 2K or 1K or 4K, it still takes the same amount of credits. So I will like, let me put everything on 4K. And so that was the only thing that I spent money on. Everything else was just putting everything together. So this step might feel intimidating, but it's very, very simple. All you have to do is on top of each clip, just put the video. And let me show you how easy that is. I'm gonna remove that video. And then all I do is click and drag this into that video. And that's it. I'm just gonna select the audio separated and delete it. That's it. So how much did this cost? Well, this cost $7.8 to upscale all those videos and only took two hours. Now it took two hours because I also did some text repositioning the text layer, etc., etc., and also adding the subtitles, etc., with another software. So all in all, this project took me $57 that honestly, I believe because of all the testing, this will actually cost me $27. That's just what I believe. And in total took me 15 hours. Now, if I do this again, I, I would probably shave that to 10 hours. Now you at least have an idea of how much you need to produce each animation. Hit the subscribe button to get more tutorials.